Hello everyone. Let's begin working on this beautiful terracotta jewelry set in grey and yellow ochre. So I have a lot of these personal favourite colour combinations but this one is just way up there. I absolutely loved how this turned out. So let's begin. So I've laid out everything that is required to paint this beautiful set. I'll leave a link in the description box below on how I made the pendant as well as the junkas. They've been beautifully bisque fired. I'm using acrylic paints over here and the colors are black, yellow ochre, neutral grey and titanium white. The paint brushes are eight one and one, one of them being a liner brush. So I begin by applying a base coat of diluted black paint uh, to the pendant as well as the junkers. This one is undiluted yellow ochre. So I've mixed absolutely no water to the paint and I'm just quickly running it on the uh, textured part alone. I do the same thing for the jhumkas as well. I just neaten it uh, with a little bit of black paint and I'm using my liner brush for this. apply the uh, neutral grey. This has been diluted and I am using my liner brush again for painting this. So because the paint is still um, quite wet, um, that's why it's looking a little more lighter but as the paint actually dries on the pendant, uh, the colour just intensifies and goes a little more darker and that just looks really nice. Now for the white. I've just added a couple of drops of water uh, to this as well um, and I'm using my liner brush for this uh, for painting the white as well. Like I said it's it's a combination of grey and yellow with uh, you know hints of white so it's mostly on the um, the smaller sections where I've used um, white and predominantly uh, it's it's grey and yellow. carefully fill in uh, the yellow paint over here. Mm -hmm. 
it's it's very necessary that the base coat has to be black according to me so that the outline actually makes these two colors stand out a lot more doesn't that look absolutely beautiful that that curved strip um, you know of color it's just it's just really it's it's bright it's beautiful and it just goes really well with the pendant and if you see um, the because the gray has started to dry uh, it's it's the color has intensified and it looks really nice So in the process, um, you know, typically when I see bubbles or anything of that sort, I just try and break them um, usually with a pin or just with a dry brush. I try and replicate the same thing for the earring as well. The earring, the jhumkas have a lot less uh, detail when compared to the pendant, uh, so I just paint accordingly. And there you go the pendant is completely ready and it's dried it's it's time for varnish that's the product i use i give it a good shake and transfer a little bit of the contents into a bowl or a container i dilute this particular varnish with a little bit of water and then i apply a neat coat all over and let it dry completely time for assembly so this is the black cord it's approximately 3 to 4 mm in thickness that's a brown bead and this is a yellow color wooden bead and this was not originally i actually painted this a yellow um, with the same yellow ochre paint that i used on the pendant they were just lighter um, unpainted wooden beads and i just painted them yellow they did require like one or two coats the black ones are thread beads and these are earring hooks and my pliers. So we can begin with the earrings. I assemble the earrings first. So I, the reason why I painted them, uh, painted the yellow, rather painted the wooden beads is because I wanted this particular color and I just did not have the exact color with me and that's why I decided to actually paint the wooden beads and like I said it required two coats and I also varnished these wooden beads so this is the assembly Pretty simple, really, really straightforward assembling. I just knot the ends so that the uh, pendant does not move and the beads also stay intact. And there you go. Now for the wooden bead, this just helps adjust the, uh, the length at which one would want to wear this particular pendant. I take the help of my pliers for this making sure it's nice and firm I knot both the cords together
Now time for the um, beaded tassel. So what I'm doing over here is basically um, using those um, wooden beads and the thread beads. So I think a lot of you have been watching my videos lately um, probably have seen that this is like now my go-to uh, style or go-to way of um, you know finishing off a particular uh, pendant. I absolutely love this style because it gives a little bit more of a um, just something extra even for the uh, you know the end of the chain it just looks really nice. So I repeat the same thing on the other side. Trim off the edges and burn it just so that the cords don't fray. And there you go. This beautiful, beautiful set is ready. So I really hope you all enjoyed watching this video. I thoroughly enjoyed working on this particular set. Absolutely loved the color combination. So thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for watching. Uh, please do hit the like button if you enjoyed watching the video. Please share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your time again and thank you so much for watching. Thank you.